We're going to continue with our post-race media availability for today's Food City 500. We are joined by our third place finisher, Jimmy Johnson, driver of the number 48 Lowe's for Pro Chevrolet. Uh, Jimmy, pretty strong run out there, I guess, yesterday and today. I want you to just take us through it briefly. Yeah, definitely a strong race car. Um, we've been talking about our, our cars performing better and driving better and creating speed in the last um, three weeks or so. Um, but to finally back it up with a, a solid finish is, is exactly what we needed. And to see my uh, teammates with uh, positive comments about their cars the last few weeks and some good results yielding from all of that, it's, uh, and we definitely have it rolling the right direction. And specifically on the 48, you know, last weekend there was a lot of excitement with the speed in our car, but we just, just had some bad luck on track and on pit road and a variety of things that went on. And to really um, be so buttoned up on race calling uh, pit stops, what I did in the car, you know, the, the whole thing. Um, I, I really feel like we're rolling in the right direction now. All right, we're going to open up to questions for Jimmy. Please raise your hand. We'll get a wireless mic to you. We'll start here with Brendan and then go to Bob. Hey, Jimmy. Brendan Marks from the Charlotte Observer. You mentioned how once you get one of these sort of under your belt, it, it feels like things start to carry up a little bit. How real is that, or, or is it just talk, or, or does it actually give you real confidence and momentum going forward? Yeah, I think, you know, in most situations, that momentum does carry you up or down, you know, and things seem to be going wrong. They continue for a while, and at some point it will turn around. You just don't know when, and I think in most cases you're right, and I have experienced it in my career where we've had different dry spells, and we'll get the car going well, and I'll make a mistake, or the car going well, and we have a bad pit stop, or just unlucky, and it takes a little while. I can't explain why or how, but it takes a little while to get that momentum rolling in the right direction, and I think today was, the last two days, was a big step in that direction for us. We'll go to Bob. Uh, Bob Parker, CSPN. Did you think the top was ever really going to come in, and why do you think the bottom held for so long? Yeah, I felt, I felt like the probably about the 40 or 50 lap mark, the top would start to come in. And, um, you know, the long green flag run we had, I guess two runs from the end, it was, was working pretty good up there. I just think on the short run and as cold as it is, there's just um, enough grip to use the shortest way around to, to create lap time. Uh, once the tires wore enough, then you'd move up. But, you know, you add, you put us in yesterday's temperatures, I think we would have been up higher a lot sooner. Anything else for Jimmy? All right, Jimmy, thanks for joining us today.